This is the uh, entrance to the hotel here. It's a real cool looking building. We enjoyed our stay here. Um, even though you might be able to hear the traffic in the background from the inside, you couldn't hear it at all. And it looks like a lot of the rooms actually have a river view. The ones on this side obviously will not. But highly recommend this place. It is very nice. Upkeep is perfect on it. Okay, so we're down here in the uh, restaurant. And first thing that happened is they filled this glass up with something weird. I don't know what the hell that is. They told me it's not Grey Goose Vodka. I'll be damned. It looks like it. Waiter just came by. The one on the right, I don't like it so much. But the one on the left, that's a cucumber teeny. That's right. And it's pretty dang good. So we decided on the potato skin appetizer before our dinner. Of course, we forgot to record it before we started eating because we're hungry. That's the way we roll. But anyway, these are pretty darn good also. Hard to tell, but a little cheese, a little sour cream, a hollowed out potato. Mmm, really, really good. So Retta got the shellfish pasta. That looks delightful. It's got clams and mussels and shrimp. Clams and mussels and shrimp in there. And I got the mushroom ravioli. Enough said. <laughs> we'll report back after we eat some. So mine also has andouille. 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 Did he? <laughs> I don't know. Andouille, I guess. Sausage in it. And this is a little closer look at it. There's some mushrooms, andouille sausage, there's some cheese, some pretty spicy tomato sauce of some kind in there. Oh yeah, it had um, a rubiata. A rubiata. A rubiata, evidently. I have no idea what that is, but it's it's spicy. It's good. I'm not a ravioli fan, but this is a really good dish. So I got the um, shellfish pasta, and it came with um, clams and mussels and shrimp. And you can see my pile of shells over there. So it came with a good, good amount of shellfish in there. And uh, so far it tastes really delicious. So it's morning. I came down and got myself some coffee. I'm going to sit here in the bar area by this lovely little fireplace and have my morning coffee. Read my book a little. But I wanted to show you this lovely little bar area. This is Valentino's bar. I got a piano here. I didn't hear anybody playing it last night. But, uh, nice little bar area here. I'd love to come back in the summertime, sit out here on that little balcony, have a cocktail, enjoy the river view. You can see the snow on the mountains over there. It might be a little chilly for it this time of year. This is the dining room where we had dinner last night. It was really good. Really good. Again, in the summertime, sitting here with that beautiful view of the river would be pretty awesome. And then, of course, they have a, a bigger area out here for, for the little people. You know, once we don't get reservations by the window, But I really like this hotel. I'm going to walk around after my coffee and show you the rest of it. I'm 
This is the lovely lobby of the hotel. Oh, look, cool display oh, sure. here. The we have this uh, really cool elevator that is operated by the staff only. You can't just take it up and down, but it's kind of cool. So our room is on the third floor of the hotel. And at the landing, we have this locked gate that we can't go up. But it goes up to the uh, fourth floor, which is, they tell me is the attic. You can see it goes up there. I should get the one from downstairs. It looks way better. Isn't that a gorgeous view of the Columbia River? Beautiful. Bochy Bell and Horseshoes. Not today, thanks. A little chilly. I like chilly. But. <laughs> How about elk chili? They have elk chili in the restaurant. So this is the garden that I couldn't see from my window last night. All I could see was the lights. Oops. I love all the lights down here. I don't know if they have this just set up for winter time or if they leave them up all year long, but sure it's pretty. This is the Phelps Creek that runs along here. Bridge is slick. See ducks. There with the bridge. <laughs> ducks. Trying to find their way back to the water, I think, and I'm standing right in their way, probably. Look, there's more up there. Holy cow. Oh, where are the ducks? <clears throat> like they got a little duck pen over there for them. That's kind of cool. Breakfast time. They went down and wrangled them up so they can come up and have their breakfast. That is pretty cool. Now they're crossing the creek.
Headed up to the feeding station right there. That's just awesome. And that must be uh, what Wings Wind Falls. Those are pretty. Pretty far down too. Sheer drop off. 